Hello, and welcome to this short video to help you learn more about the Japanese language. My name is Brianne Barra. I'm a grad assistant at the Office of Global Engagement. And this is just sort of a crash course to help you before you go abroad um, in Japan. And so we're gonna call this Japanese 101, or in Japanese, Nihongo 101. So let's go ahead and get started. So the first place we should start when learning Japanese is to familiarize ourselves with the different character sets used in the writing system. Japanese consists of four different types of character sets, and let's go ahead and go over those right now. The first is hiragana. Hiragana is the traditional Japanese writing system. They look more um, simple when you read them and as you familiarize yourself with Japanese you'll be able to distinguish them pretty e easily. The second character set is katakana. Katakana is used for characters denoting non-Japanese words, emphasis, onomatopoeia, technical or scientific terms, names of plants, animals, minerals, and Japanese companies. So, for example, hotel, hoteru, taxi, taxi, America, America, those are the types of words that you'll see used as being written in katakana. The third character set is known as kanji, and these are just traditional Chinese characters, since Japanese derives itself from Chinese writing. The words you will see written in kanji include Aoyama Gakuin University. To say that in Japanese, it looks like this. Aoyama Gakuin Daigaku. Japan, written in kanji, is this. Nihon. Nihon. The fourth character set is known as Romaji. So, these right here are actually written in Romaji, which looks like English, but actually it's the romanization of the Japanese language. Okay, so now you know the basics. Let's go ahead and move on to more advanced ideas. Japanese can be classified as a phonetic language, but unlike Chinese, the sounds used in Japanese are just about five basic sounds. And I'll go over those with you right now. So the five basic sounds in Japanese are a, e, u, E and O. If you have an understanding of these basic sounds, pronunciating Japanese words will become a lot easier for you. If you can look at this grid, it sort of explains the basics of all the sounds found in Japanese. Using a K, an S, a T, N, down the line to even a W. So for example, Ka, Ki, Ku, K, and Ko. Practice the rest of these sounds on your own using S, T, N, and so forth. 
and your pronunciation will be almost perfect. Now that you know the basics in pronunciation, let's go ahead and go over some specific phrases that'll help you before you start learning Japanese while attending AGU. So let's start with an introduction. A basic introduction in Japanese goes like this. Hajime mashite. Watashi no nomae wa Insert your last name there. Dis. Again. Hajime mashite. Watashi no nomae wa ibara desu. Go ahead and try on your own. Now that you know how to introduce yourself, let's go over the three basic greetings while you're in Japan. I'm sure you're most familiar with Konnichiwa. Konnichiwa. Which is really only used during the day because it actually means good afternoon. To say good morning, you'll say Ohayo gozaimasu or Ohayo Ohayo gozaimasu Ohayo In the evening it's proper to greet someone with Konbanwa Konbanwa which as I'm sure you guessed it means good evening to say thank you, you can either say arigato, which is more, um, which is less formal. Arigato. For a more formal thank you, you want to say arigato gozaimasu. Arigato gozaimasu. Before every meal, to be polite, you should say Itadakimasu. Itadakimasu. And once you finish your meal to show your appreciation, you should tell the chef or your host Gojiso sama deshita. Gojiso sama deshita. When you want to say sorry or excuse me, for excuse me, you should say sumimasen, sumimasen, which is popular when you're at a restaurant to get the waiter's attention. Sumimasen. When you want to say sorry, you can say Gomenasai. Gomenasai. Or simply gomen. If you're ever lost or confused or need help with directions, please practice the following phrases to help you in any of those situations. The first is Ego Hanasemaska. Ego hanase ka, which means, do you speak English? Ego o hanase ka. If you're trying to find a specific building or landmark, please practice the following phrase. For example, if you're trying to find a hotel, you would say, Hotel wa doko desu ka? Hotel wa doko desu ka? Which means, where is the hotel? You can use this phrase and exchange hotel for koban. So, koban wa doko desu ka? For, where is the police box? 
or even for hospital. So, byouin wa doko desu ka? So if you remember that phrase, it can be very helpful in an emergency situation. Now you know the basics of Japanese and some phrases to help you while you're there and before you start your studies at AGU. I hope this video was really informative and I hope you practice on your own. Um, you can either use Duolingo, which is a free app you can download right now, or any online resources like YouTube um, and any other study guides you might find. So, good luck, have fun, gambate!